polynomials using the ABC method. Okay, now that was a base, very basic problem here. We're going to step it up a bit just to show you. All you got to do is look at the A, the B, and the C and use this technique, okay? Now, um, realistically, this is, these are very simple problems. They're just set up. Um, you don't have to... Uh, let me just give you the first problem here. Put this first problem up, 24x squared plus 53xy plus 10y squared. What I mean is that these are all ready to go. You don't have to take out any greatest common factors in the very beginning, okay? We're just trying to learn the ABC method. So, don't get scared. These are big numbers, but you can handle them. Okay, Charlie, what's the A term here? 24. 24, very good. What's the B term? 53. And what's the C term? 10. That's right, 10. Okay. Now, Charlie, what is the A times C over there? 240. 240. Don't get scared. So what's 240? We're going to use our technique that I showed you before. Okay, Charlie. The first factors we're going to start with are what for 240? 240 and 1. 240 and 1. Okay. So we'll go ahead and list those. And okay. We'll get a we'll little calm there for our sum. And what are those sum to, Charlie? 240 and 1. Sum to what? 241. 241. Very good. Okay. Here's our technique, Charlie. We take the 240, and now we're going to take half of 240. How much is that? 120. 120. And if you double the 1, you get a what? A 2. A 2. Very nice, Charlie. And what do those two sum to? 120 and a 2 sum to what? 122. 122. Very nice. Let's go to the next term, Charlie. What's half of 120? 60. 60. Okay, since we took half of this, we got to double the other one, right? Divide them by 2, multiply by 2. So. 120 divided by 2 is 60. Now what's 2 times 2, Charlie? 4. 4. There we go. And of course, 60 times 4 is 240. Now what do they sum to, Charlie? 64. 64. Okay. We still haven't ha found that B term yet, have we? Remember, our B term is a 53. Okay. Now, Charlie, what's half of 60? 30. That's right. 30. Now, 4. Double that, you get a what? 8. An 8. Now what do those sum to? 38. 38. We're still not there. It's okay. Just relax. Don't get scared. Just keep going. Okay, let's go to the next one, Charlie. What's half of 30? 15. 15. There we go. Okay, now we double the 8. 8 times 2 is? 16. 16. Okay, here we go. What's 15 plus 16? Charlie. 31. 31. That's still not our middle term. So we got to continue looking. All right. Now notice here. Okay, we come down, we have a 15 here. Now, we cannot take half of 15. So what we're going to do is we're not going to divide by 2 now. We're going to divide by the next larger number, which is a 3. Okay? So Charlie, what's 15 divided by 3? 5. That's a 5. Okay, good. Now, since we divided the 15 by 3, we have to multiply the 16 by 3, okay? And now, Charlie, what's 16 times 3? That's a tough one. 48. It is 48 there. Oh, whew. that was a tough one. And 5 times 48 does equal 240, okay? Now, at this point, we look at their sum. Oh, what is their sum, Charlie? 53. It's a 53, and there it is. That is our B term, okay? Now, if we wanted to keep, continue going with this, which we don't have to, we're going to stop here. But notice the 5 there is a prime number. So at this point, if you had to continue going, you'd have to go to the 48 and then take half of that. So if you took half of the 48, you would get the 24, and then you'd have to double the 5 to get the 10. We'll look at some problems like that in, as we, in the future lectures on factoring, okay? But we're going to stop here. That's all we need is the 5 and 48 because they sum to that 53 there, okay? Now, again, what are we going to do with that 5 and 48, Charlie? Rewrite the middle term. We're going to rewrite the middle term of our trinomial. Remember, we want to rewrite that middle term to get the four terms. So we can do factoring by what, Charlie? Grouping. By grouping. Okay, so here we go. Let's bring down the 24x squared. And let's go ahead and rewrite the 53xy using our factors, 5 and 48. So we get 5xy plus 48xy, because notice, we had 53xy's up there. So we're going to rewrite the 53xy's into 
5xy's plus 48xy's. Now you could put that in any order. You could put the plus 48xy plus 5xy, okay? It, you're still going to get the same answer. It doesn't matter which order you put those. But I put plus 5xy and plus uh, 48xy. And don't forget to, uh, and, and don't forget that those terms are coming from our factors that we found, 5 and 48. And then now we bring down our 10y squared, okay? So there it is, right there. Notice our 5 and 48. We rewrote the middle term there, okay? And now, let's write down our answer here. There we are. 24x squared plus 5xy plus 48xy plus 10y squared. Okay, child, we got our four terms, so what do we do? Back. Form two groups. There we go. We got our two groups there. All right. Yeah, Charlie, it's a tough one. What's the greatest common factor for the first group? Okay. We have the 24 and the 5. Okay. That, there's, are there any common, greatest common factors for the 24 and 5? No. No. Okay. Now, the first term has how many x's, Charlie? Two of them. Two of them. Does it have any y's? Nope. No. So we can't factor out any y's because the first term doesn't have any. Now let's go to the next term, Charlie. How many terms, how many x's are in the second term there in the first group? Only one. There's only one x, okay, and there is one y there. Now, we can't factor out any y's because the first term doesn't have any y's. Now, who has the least amount of x's? It's that second term. It's the 5xy there. So we can only factor out a what, Charlie? x. An x. So an x is the greatest common factor for the first group. Okay. So there it is, we put our parentheses there. Okay, Charlie. Now, what do I multiply the x to? What do I distribute the x to to get the 24x squared plus 5xy? Okay, think about it. 24x. Okay, Charlie, that is right. 24x plus 5y. Oh. Because x times 24x is the 24x squared, and x times the plus 5y is the plus 5 5 x y. So there we go. Now comes Charlie's favorite step. What do we do, Charlie? Cheat. That's right. You go ahead and cheat. Remember, it's the only time you can cheat in this class. Now, Charlie, what's the greatest common factor for the second group? Okay, it shouldn't be too bad there. What is it? 2y. It's a plus 2 because 2 y. plus 2 times 24x is that 48xy. Okay, it's a plus 2y, Charlie. It was a plus 2y, not a plus 2. <laughs> plus 2y is the greatest common factor for the second group. So we have plus 2y times 24x gives you the 48xy, and the plus 2y times the 5y gives you what, Charlie? 10y squared. squared. There is your answer up to this point. Now, we notice each group has a 24x plus 5y in it. So what do we do, Charlie? We're going to Yank those out. We're going to take them out there. 24x plus 5y. And so we take those out. We put it in front. What's left over, Charlie? x plus 2y. It's the x plus 2y. Very nice. And all you got to do is circle your answer and you're done. So those were two pretty tough problems. That, this is your introduction to factoring using the ABCs method. So we'll be doing some more factoring very soon. Anyway, I hope you're having a good time doing these factoring problems. They're a lot of fun. And we'll see you next time soon. Get to work, Charlie. That's right. What are you doing? Oh, come on, look.